these are the Christmas card designs for 2021. My goal was 150 cards. And this year, after I made the 150, I found out I needed 15 more. <laughs> so right now, this is 150. These are the designs I've come up with. Some of them have type sentiments on the inside. Some of them have stamped sentiments on the inside. On the inside, I tried to make it match the gold, so I did kind of a tan colored sentiment. This one was just a trial and error one. This one again, same thing, trial and error. This one I used the old Anna Griffin. They were like uh, embossing folders that you can match the, the different insides with the different outsides. I thought that one came out pretty. This metallic blue was a color that came from Michael's Recollection brand. This is another Anna Griffin die. What I did with this one is instead of using two pieces of paper to, to do the matting, I cut this white piece here. I cut that from the inside, middle of the card here. And then I just cut this red, put this on the outside, and then put another piece of red on the inside here. It came out really cute. And it's hard to see on here, but these are different colors of red. And that's that Anna Griffin gold. This is a Anna Griffin green. Got some pink in there. This one I messed up. So this one was the same base card and I printed on the front side, the inside, and on the back side, I printed. And instead of just throwing it away, I just put a piece of brown gold. This is a Recollections gold, I believe. I put that on top and then, um, and then I just added the inside. I love how that came out. And this Believe is an old Cricut cut from way back. These are some Anna Griffin acetate. Uh, and I got this idea off of HSN when she um, when she was selling the acetates on HSN and she did it where she also embossed the inside of the card this goldish brown tan color is a um, recollections brand from Michaels and I embossed that in one of the Anna Griffin um, Christmas embossing folders these came out really pretty. Uh oh. Hmm. They're upside down today.
Here we go. I like to do this because it'll remind me of what I did and what I can build up to, what else I can do. Um, yeah, I love these acetate folders. There's something that came out years ago from Anna Griffin, but um, I, I like to like collect the different things and then bring them back in different times. Here are a few more. Now the base of this card is a recollections from Michaels and then some of them again I typed on the inside and some of them I stamped. These are some other ideas. The Christmas tree is an Anna Griffin die and this is an old die cut. I'm sorry it's an old embossing folder and the die is a new die cut. Now these are one of the first designs I did. The actual die cut that says Merry Christmas with the bordering um, snowflakes is a AliExpress die that I got. The card is a glitter base card from Michaels that was on clearance. And then on the inside, I just found a sentiment I liked and typed it on the inside of the card. This one just happened to the blues just happened to stay in the die from the from the paper before I did the goal and I just left it in there. I like it. Just something different. Really glittery. I mean, this does not show you how much shine. I mean, it does not definitely does not show you how much shine is in here now that's two different colors that Merry Christmas is one color and that border is another and that paper is Anna Griffin that the dyes are cut out of now this one was a dazzler this is a snowflake china cabinet card making box it was on auto ship and one of the finishing school from Anna Griffin, one of the finishing school uh, classes had explained something similar to this. Now, what they did was cut out the center of this card here. This is the center. And then she used a second card to cut, to make the this part, this part here was this part of the card but I did not want to cut two cards so what I did is just made the big snowflake as the base of the top and then you know you see what you see and then this was just popped up so it can be a stopper but look at that look at that die cut Ooh, I mean embossing that is a just a piece of Anna Griffin gold with her embossing folder for this kit and it is gorgeous now this color of glitter oh you cannot see how pretty but it is like a mixture of gold and silver it's so pretty goodness gracious and what I did I did the same sentiment I typed on the inside of all of the cards and this is the rest of them I try not to use all I don't like using all the paraphernalia that she gives us I don't like to do it it's too pretty I can have a hundred more cards if I use now this one uh, I use four borders 
thought that was cute. This one I cut the center and I used uh, another card um, uh, that silver piece there. I didn't cut a whole silver piece. I just cut a circle that was a little bit bigger than this circle and it came out nice. I like that. They came out nice. They came out really nice. I really love the slimline look. This card is actually really the only one that's just like this one. Uh, I had the, this is an Anna Griffin slimline base card. Then this green striped paper is also Anna Griffin. This is an Anna Griffin gift die. And this paper is from Michaels in the Recollection uh, uh, Christmas Classic, I believe is the name of the, it was a six by six pad and I just cut it and matted it on a red and it came out really cute. I typed the inside, typed the cinnamon on the inside. And then these are other Anna Griffin dies that, oh, <laughs> That's funny. Upside down. Boy, I'm having a time. <laughs> Some of these are just, ooh, pretty. Now, the other thing, if I was just doing these cards normally, I would tell you that they would be popped up a little more than they are. Right now, they're flat because I'm trying to save on postage because we have so many cards to give out this year. But it's a friend of mine said they look great. <laughs> I kind of was like, uh, does it look right that it's not popped up? We're so used to seeing all of Anna's designs in her design team have everything popped up so nice. So, there we go. Now, Pam won a Anna Griffin Christmas Shutter Card Kit set i did made a comment on the november 19th product preview show and i won one of the card kits so i'm very excited because boy i don't hardly ever win anything so i was very excited and so these are the cards i made from this now this is going to be kind of a two-part because i want you to see the outside and i want you to see how i did the the back of it so I typed typed it from this little piece and then printed them out I thought that was really cute so just just the outside I'm gonna show you that first because it's so pretty just the outside these cards are ridiculous and then if you have any of the dies Boy, you can really, really make them beautiful. Make them stand out. And I can't find my tripod tonight, so that's why I'm holding it. 